At one time or another, many DIY homeowners, auto mechanics, electricians, as well as builders needed a very strong way to bolt objects onto steel or aluminum plates and tubes without using a washer and a nut. Some people would also like to be able to easily remove the object bolted to the metal without having to hold the nut from turning on the rear side or worry about having the nut and washer fall off as you're removing the bolt. There's also many instances when you'd like to bolt something onto a metal tube like you see right over here. And of course you cannot get inside the tube to use a washer and a nut. In this video I'll be showing you a reasonably priced and extremely useful tool that you should have inside your toolbox to make your job a lot easier. Now to start, for comparison, let's take a close look at how a hand riveter works. Right here is your typical hand riveter. And here's the rivet that's inserted into the end right over here. It looks like there's a nail inside. You can see the head on it. Kind of small like a finishing nail. And when it's placed inside, you open the handles up all the way, slide this in. The end makes contact with that flange. And as you put pressure on the handles, it pulls the head through the rivet, expanding it and making a very tight fit between the two pieces of metal as that head pulls down into the rivet. And you're going to see the difference from the rivet nut in just a minute. So let me place this in the gun just to show you. The rivet nut is going to be open too as well with the handles. Push this down. With it inserted, keep squeezing. And then it pops, that's why they call it a pop rivet. And you can see it's a very tight fit between these two pieces of metal and how nicely that flange is on that metal. All right, now let's compare this to the rivet nut. You're now looking at the end of the rivet nut tool. When the handles are opened up all the way, this is going to extend, allowing you to fully thread on the rivet nut. Right here is the rivet nut. And if you look closely, this whole section right here is a bunch of grooves. And that's the area that's going to be collapsing or folding over. So you're going to take this end, it's going to be flush with this end when it's threaded on. This is the flange end that you're going to have when it's completed. So you can thread your bolt right in. And you can see right here, threads in perfectly into that rivet nut. With the gun that I have, it comes with several different sizes. I think it goes from metric 12 all the way down to metric four, and then you have four standard sizes. All you have to do is choose the right rivet nut that you want to use with the bolt that you have. So just to show you how to put this on, I'm going to open the handles, and you can see this extend. Handles opening up. And then you take the nut and just thread it on until it's flush. And it's flush right there. It shows right over here in this window, up to 10 millimeters, how much of a stroke you're going to have when you pull the handles together. If you're working on a thicker piece of metal, you're going to have less of a stroke. And if you're going to be working on a very thin piece of sheet metal, you're going to have it much closer to the 10 to make sure the rivet nut is fully set. In order to adjust the stroke, go back to this end over here, loosen this ring, and then you could tighten this in. Bringing it in is going to let these handles go much further outward, increasing the stroke. If you want to have less, turn it this way. It's going to reduce the stroke. When you're done getting it where you want it, just tighten this ring down right here and you're good to go. Once the rivet nut is compressed, it's going to look like what you see right over here. You can see how nice and tight this collapsed in, making that ring. So the sheet metal would end up between this crushed section and that flange. And you can see it's also rough, so it's going to be able to grab the surface of the sheet metal, making it much harder for the rivet nut to slip. Over here is what it looked like before. You can see the difference in the size of the rivet nut after the tool fully crushed it. The way to remove it is very simple. Over here is that crushed rivet nut. You would simply hold the tool in one position and rotate this knob counterclockwise 
to take the tool off the rivet nut. And you can see right there, it unthreads it very easily so you don't have to spin the tool around, especially if your space is limited. Included with the rivet nut tool is this multi-purpose wrench to help you change the different sizes very easily. Let me show you how to change this out. I'm going to be using a quarter inch rivet nut for the demonstration. I loosened everything so I could show you this very easily without using the multi-purpose wrench. First thing you're going to do is just hold it and take off this nut on the end. Unscrew this, gives you more room. And just pull it off. Then you can pull down on the sleeve. Once the sleeve is pulled back, grab this, unscrew it. And you can see it says M8 right on there. Now we're ready to install the quarter inch for the demonstration. In case you're wondering, the handles are made out of steel, along with the body, the whole center piece that goes through. The only piece that's plastic is right over here in the middle where the gauge is. Take this, slide it out. You're going to pull back on that sleeve, and we're going to thread that in. You want to make sure the flat sides line up. A little too far, let's go back. That's done. Take this, reinstall it. You're going to have to adjust this for the right stroke. Eh, that should be pretty good. It's tight right there. Slide this on. Center it and then tighten it. There we go. We're now ready to use this tool with a quarter 20 rivet nut. Okay, let's take it outside so I can show you how well this tool works. Right here you can see a steel tube on a boat trailer. Drill a hole in the steel. You want to make sure the hole is just slightly larger than the diameter of the rivet nut. Once the hole is drilled, you're going to install the rivet nut and set the maximum stroke. It's not really critical if you don't have it set right the handles will not go all the way together, but you'll still be able to crush the back side of the rivet nut in position on the steel, preventing it from moving. Once a high level of resistance has been met in the handles, you know you're finished. You simply unscrew the knob and remove the tool. And you can see what a beautiful job you have when it's all complete. The rivet nut is extremely strong and it will not loosen. And guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate the thumbs up, share, and check out my extensive video playlist for many other videos of interest to you. Thanks for watching.